Hey everybody, welcome to this week's weekly roundup. I, as I normally do, have a pretty long list, so I'll try to be quick. Um, we're almost kind of finishing our updates on streets for the year, but with that in mind, uh, even though we're kind of moving away from traditional street reconstruction, there's still a lot of work that's happening in the right of way and some in the roadway. So um, we are uh, using our street crews to do things um, like catch basin work, manhole repairs, ditches, uh, drains. So there's still a lot that's happening um, kind of near the curb line. So please watch out for our, our team members. We will be doing the patching on Liberty Lane next week. Um, and then we are going to begin next week as well the punch list items from that Washington Emmett Montgomery Street project. So as those projects kind of finish up, we're about to kick off a couple new ones. And the first one that I think most people are going to notice is the Katy Street Bridge. So next week, I believe on the 18th, um, the Katy Street Bridge will be closed. So we have that, you've heard me talk about the bridge rehabilitation project. Um, that project's being led by the Department of Transportation, but it will begin next week. Um, and then we expect it to go in pro until probably October-ish. We will be opening um, bids for the work we need to do on the Main Street Bridge next week as well. So that work then again will start uh, near the end of the month. So we have two bridge projects happening. We are aware that um, they're happening at the same time. We should not, uh, we should not have to close uh, lanes of traffic on Main Street. So even though Katy Street will be closed, we should still be okay for traffic flowing on Main Street. Uh, we will also be beginning soon, I think maybe in October-ish, uh, the Boomer Street realignment. I know I've talked about it in the past, but not in some time. This is a project we're doing um, with some federal aviation dollars and a small amount of city dollars uh, to realign Boomer Street so that we can better utilize the runways that we have. So essentially, God, Boomer Street kind of goes like this. We're gonna take kind of one of those last curve or two and send it straight to 12th Street on some land that the city owns. So that work will begin uh, as well. Uh, today at the square or Friday at the square, uh, we will be celebrating uh, receiving an award from the Federal uh, Environmental Protection Agency. The EPA has awarded its Region 5 Brownfield Success Award to the Benson Family Town Square which is just really validating and um, really humbling, honestly. Like we've gone through so much to get to the point that we have with the square opening and we've had really great success. And so it's just really wonderful to also receive uh, this recognition from the federal government acknowledging that we um, had a brownfield and were able to successfully reuse that. So if you re see this before noon, head down to the square, uh, join us for that presentation. Uh, if not, I know there's a ton of events happening at the square all weekend long. I wanted to touch base on a few things at Riverside Park. As you all know, we're doing the restoration of the footbridges and some of the walls um, at Riverside Park. That work is going along very nicely. We are also doing stream restoration. So if you look at the, the stream that runs through Riverside Park, there are varying areas of destabilization of that stream where the, the rock is caving in or there's so much overgrowth that it, the stream kind of is finding its own path through the park. So in conjunction with the Rock River Coalition, we've been doing some uh, shoreline and stream stabilization work. Next week on Saturday, I believe, uh, the Rock River Coalition is going to be doing a native shoreline restoration project. Although that's why you've seen the black tarp there. That black tarp is there to kill what's there right now. We'll be doing some plantings there next week. After that planting effort is done, it, it begins at 9.30, uh, there will also be the annual st uh, stream cleanup. So. If you're interested and have some time uh, next Saturday morning and you can volunteer to help us clean up the stream, um, go to the Rock River uh, Coalition website uh, and check out information on how you can volunteer or just show up. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll take you if you just show up as well. Uh, okay, Western Avenue uh, house fire update. So we've been getting a lot of questions over several months about the status. I've shared why this has taken a bit longer, but it appears as though we are in the home stretch. This week, our finance committee approved the documents we would need necessary for the city to own the home in order to demolish it. Next Tuesday, our, fin uh, excuse me, our common council will take a vote on that as well. So assuming the council votes on those documents for us to own the home, um, we just need to get one legal document and then we should be able to begin the demolition process. We're hopeful that that will be in the last week of the month, but we'll put out information probably later next week on actual dates. Uh, on the development front, we've, in the last like couple of weeks, we've really been working on some new housing potential projects uh, in two different spots of the city, which is great. We need housing uh, all over the community. And now that I say that we have three, we have three different areas of the city that I can picture that we have housing projects working in. 
These deals take many, many, many months uh, and a lot of iterations, but we're excited to be sitting with developers that we um, have a, a nice relationship with that we can um, begin to kind of align needs and, and values to bring a new product to the city. So I'll share more on that as we can. Um, we're also beginning some conversations with some local businesses about local business expansion, which has been a goal of ours. It's not just about attraction, it's about retention and expansion of the businesses that have created our core business community. So we're excited for one of the, uh, an expansion potential. And then we've also began uh, to really look this last week at two different industrial uh, locations. So our industrial park is, is nearly full. Uh, we know that we're in need of some additional industrial land. And so we've really started narrowing in on um, the feasibility of two other areas uh, of potential. So I'll provide uh, more information on that as those um, begin to flush out a little more. Also in our economic development effort, you all know we've been talking about childcare here for a long time. So um, our partners at the Health Foundation provided an update on our, the work that we've done so far. And I'm happy to report that by the end of 2023, we will have added over 200 new child care seats in this area. And that is a huge uh, benefit to our workforce availability. Uh, we also grew the number of providers in this area in our shared service network from 31 providers to 44 providers. That's another huge check mark in the positive. And then Madison College teamed up with uh, the Health Foundation to offer free early childhood classes and to provide some uh, access to scholarships for bachelor's uh, and associate's degrees as well. So it is a multi-prong approach at working at childcare availability so that we have better workforce participation and workforce availability. Um, and so that we are bringing kids into high quality care, which is, has exponential benefits in the long run. Um, so I'm really proud to be able to share those three key milestones with you today. Looking to next week, we have a mayor meetup on Wednesday, I think in the afternoon, Oof, we'll post about it. Uh, and it's at the Collective. So this is uh, the Health Foundation's uh, new uh, building over by the Rock River on the south side of town. Uh, again, that's just an opportunity to come, ask any questions. I'm there to chat with you all for an hour. We are doing hydrant flushing continuing next week. I, I, I should have listened to my own advice. I, my son was in the shower, we went to turn it on, the pressure went and I was like, oh duh, we're doing hydrant flushing. Uh, so here's your reminder, because even though I say I still needed one, we're doing hydrant flushing uh, next week. So again, that'll have some impact on your water pressure. Uh, if you see the vehicles out in your area, we encourage you not to do laundry. Um, for more tips, check out the water department's website. Uh, next Saturday is the Donut Dash. This is the um, 5K and Kids 1K that our police department does in support of domestic violence um, organizations. And we are still in need of volunteers. So if you look up the Donut Dash on Facebook, it'll send you to a Facebook, uh, to a website that you can uh, sign up to volunteer to kind of help on the, at the race or still uh, join and participate in the race. Uh, on the rec front, we are doing uh, advertisements for swing dance. I think I mentioned it last time, yoga, um, and men's basketball is the new one that's being offered. So this is our adult men's basketball league. Next Wednesday is the ever popular terrarium workshop. And we're also doing free Zuma classes at the square next week. So check out information for those. The library is doing their paper arts club next week. This is if you're into scrapbooking or card making, things with paper, using a Cricut, things I wish I could do. Uh, they are doing a club at the library in the maker space on the first and third Tuesday of every month. Uh, on the job front here at the city, part-time wise, we're looking for part-time seasonal. So instructors, um, uh, umpires, referees, things like that. And then we are also still looking for crossing guards. You could be a sub, you could have your own uh, crossing guard route each morning. Either way, if you're interested, please check out our website for more information on how you can um, apply for those positions. On the full-time front, we're looking for uh, firefighters, police officers, a parks laborer, and then a water distribution technician. So all the information and job descriptions and applications are on the city website. I did not fill out a whole lot for the weekend plans, uh, but I know there's a lot going on. Watertown Tourism is obviously an excellent spot. I know they uh, recently kind of advertised for all the new restaurants that have come into the area recently, so check those out and still check out all of our existing restaurants that have sustained us with great eats uh, for many, many years. I know that the library put out a new uh, book on the Storybook Trail, and I know for sure that the square is filled up all weekend with events. There's an event uh, today on Friday, uh, Fiesta on Main is tomorrow, uh, there's a large orchestra concert on Sunday, um, 
and I'm sure there's a whole lot other, uh, a lot of other events you can participate in in the community this weekend. So have a good weekend. We'll see you back next week.